This is Laura. I'm coming to you from the beautiful shores of Puget Sound, and we're getting ready to do the second round of sea trials with my open ROV. I made some changes, um, added a little bit more buoyancy, and put some floats, some corks actually, on the tether. So let's go see how it works. So, we're actually cruising along pretty well here. We're in the right place. We've got some landmarks. Delay there. This is working much better. I think we found pretty close to the right buoyancy. So, we're actually out at the storm drain now. Come on, turn it So, we're, we've made it to our first this is the, um, looks like there's some baby starfish down there. So let's see if we can turn back around a little bit and look at this storm drain. This is so exciting. Being tugged around a little. But we are investigating a storm drain. How cool is that? successfully completed uh, round two of our sea trials. Um, I had to remove one of the floats. We were too buoyant this time. Um, and then uh, we were actually able to cover a fair bit of ground. Um, it got really cool when I got out to the um, rock pile on the way out to the um, storm drain, which was our um, intent was actually to see if I could go visit something that was recognizable underwater. Um, the corkies worked really well. Uh, I learned that I actually need to have a lot more of them on, probably 50 or 60 feet back worth of them, it seems like, because we, um, I got out to the storm drain and I was getting really good images of the storm drain and was keeping a good eye on it. And uh, I kind of noted that I wasn't able to get away from it and it turned out that I actually um, had caught my tether on one of the rocks. I wrapped it around and um, I really felt like I was probably going to have to come out and go do some scuba diving to rescue my little robot. Uh, I was kind of working around in my head how was I going to you know, leave one here and there um, and it would be pretty embarrassing. So I figured to learn how robust the cable is. People have asked me how strong the cable is and I can tell you um, I had the little robot going one direction and I was tugging pretty hard in the other direction and luckily we were able to um, free up the tether. Um, everything floated up and we were back in business. But uh, it was, So it was really cool. We were actually able to accomplish one of our objectives which was to go investigate a storm drain. <laughs> 